Good afternoon, everybody. This is Drew, your host of Alluvial Adventures. I can take a moment to thank you guys for joining us on another episode of the channel. You can see the sun is starting to set. Really got part of the creek bottom just absolutely lit up this afternoon. All the oak trees are glowing. Uh, the bird life is very, very active. The squirrels. I haven't seen my deer yet this afternoon. I'm sure they're close by. We uh, couldn't figure out what we was going to cook this afternoon and finally decided you can't go wrong with breakfast. Breakfast is always good anytime. So uh, we're going to pick a few tomatoes out of the garden right quick and I'll see if we can't throw us some breakfast together. So you guys see how it turns out. Y'all stay with us and we'll see y'all in the kitchen. gonna pick a couple of these Tabasco peppers to go with my scrambled eggs and poke salad. Mm -hmm. A couple ought to do. There's a couple of ripe tomatoes down here. We're gonna get those. Ah, the rain is, oh, we got all that rain just made that one soft. We'll let the deer have it. I don't see any. Yeah, there's a, there's a red one in there. I don't know if I can get to it. It's not good either. All that rain we got from the storm made them split, bust. Yeah. Tell you what I am going to do. Tomorrow I'm going to have some fried green tomatoes since we have an abundance of those. Got some of these hot Thai hot chili peppers too. I'm gonna have a couple of those to go with my 
pokes at it. Now, I don't know if any of y'all eat poke salad. I made a pretty extensive video back in the spring during turkey season. Time I'd go, I'd pick a bucket full and come home, blanch it, and put it in the freezer. You know, because it's something I just eat on a regular basis when I can get it. So, uh, we're going to go and get us some poke salad out of the freezer. See if we can't get supper started. Alright guys, we're gonna have eggs, bacon, and sausage. I have some fried potatoes and onions. I didn't lay the onion out. Sliced tomatoes. And in my scrambled eggs, I'm gonna have some of this poke salad. And I will explain that a little more in depth when I begin to cook it. We're going to dice our potatoes up fairly small. They won't take as long to cook. Potatoes and onions is always good. Cook them about anywhere. Cook them on a campfire if you hunt, fish, outdoors, go camping, backpacking. Easy to transport, easy to cook. I always make a very, very nutritious and stick to your ribs kind of meal. Once again, I want to reiterate a point also that a sharp knife always cuts better than a dull knife. Always. I'm going to get these on our paper plate. We don't need many. As y'all can tell, we have plenty of bacon and sausage. So we're just not going to need a great whole lot of potatoes. Uh, sliced tomatoes, scrambled eggs, poke salad. Probably gonna have a couple pieces of toast. Toast is normally pretty good for breakfast, so it should be pretty good for supper as well. Got those prepped. We'll get them on the stove here in a little bit. We'll see you guys shortly. All right, guys. Sausages starting to heat up a little bit. Go ahead and get the onions and potatoes in their pan. Season them. Be complicated now. A little salt, pepper. Maybe a little garlic powder. Let these brown. Guys, as you might have gathered, we fry our bacon and hog jaw in the oven. It gets a lot crispier on the edges. We got our sausages getting brown. 
You know, our potatoes and onions are brown. When the bacon gets done, we'll probably just make our toast in the oven. It'll be easier. You know, when the potatoes and onions get done, I'll make the scrambled eggs and poke salad. Sausages are starting to get a nice brown color. Same with our potatoes and onions, they start to golden color up real nice. I mean, it'd be nice if we was over in the mountains or down on the Chafalaya Basin somewhere, but as it is, we're just in the western edge of the Appalachian Mountains. So we're going to be happy with that. It's probably going to be the last time we have to turn the sausages of that done. And I'm pretty sure the potatoes and onions are done too. They've got a nice golden brown. Let's see here. Oh yeah, the potato sauce is done. We'll go ahead and put them on the paper towel. Let them be draining and cooling. Man, that's going to be good. Like I say, guys, we can't always be in hunting camp or fishing or on the river or someplace we would love to be, but we can always make good food in the kitchen. We get our eggs good and scrambled. Like I said. You'll notice I fixed the scrambled eggs in two separate pans. Miss Beth is not real sure about the poke salad. Never mind that I've eaten it for 50 plus years and it's never done anything to me. But you don't trust it. We'll have separate eggs. guys our poke greens or poke salad p-o-k-e-s-a-l-a-t uh, if you do not know how to prepare it uh, it is a toxic plant eat it make you sick maybe worse but as long as you learn how to prepare it the proper way it's as good a vegetable leafy green as you can add to your diet and I, I, I really enjoy it thoroughly with scrambled eggs and uh, what I've done, I thawed it out and it had a little bit of moisture in it, so I've laid it on this paper towel, squeeze the excess moisture out of it, and I'm fixing to throw it in the pan. And uh, I'm going to put a little bit, a couple of tablespoons of bacon grease from the bacon because I enjoy the flavor and I don't want my eggs to stick. And uh, we're going to have some scrambled eggs and poke salad to go with the rest of our meal. Guys, you notice we got a bunch of postcards up here in the window, and I realize postcards are a little old-fashioned, but they're not out of date. Our kids uh, actually travel. They RV camp all over the country. They go from one place to the next. Uh, check them out on YouTube, the Roving Vets, Rob, Bethany, and Maverick. 
Uh, they drop a video every week from some wonderful location, Bryce Canyon, I think they just went to, uh, Cedar Breaks in Utah. Uh, they travel the country just enjoying life as we all like to. So you guys check them out on YouTube and uh, we'll get this bacon up. We're gonna put it on some paper towels and let it be draining too. What we're going to do at this point, guys, is this is already cooked. In order to remove the toxin from the plant, you have to boil it twice. You boil it the first time in some salty water for about 10 minutes. Drain it, rinse it, boil it a second time for about 10 minutes. Once it's boiled a second time, the boiling water has removed the toxins and cooked the leaves done so they're ready to eat. So what we're going to do is we're going to let them heat up in this bacon grease saute just for about a minute till they turn a little bit darker green. We're going to dump our eggs in, scramble them, call it good. See that's getting a little bit darker in color. Be sure to leave some for this best. Guys, y'all drop a comment below if y'all want to see me make some poke salad dip instead of spinach dip, spinach artichoke dip. If y'all want to see poke salad watercress dip, y'all let me know. I believe I can make that. So everybody that wants to see the poke salad watercress dip, leave a comment. Hey guys, this is Drew, your host of Illuvial Adventures. Once again, we want to thank you guys so much for what y'all do. Everything you do for the channel, we appreciate it so much. It means the world to us. We got everything done. We got our buttered toast. We got our sliced tomatoes from the garden, bacon, sausage, potatoes, and onions. I've got my poke salad and scrambled eggs. You may wonder what I'm doing with these sitting on the table. They say igloo. And they started life as little portable coolers, but because they have these handy backpack straps, we uh, converted them into tackle bags. And I have got to go. We have fished so much and fished so hard this year. So I don't know what kind of tackle I have in there and what I do not have. I don't know how many hooks I have, what, how much baits I have left. And I got in my side pocket, I got my Atlas mics, garlic shrimp salmon eggs. So tomorrow, I'm going to go through these bags, organize everything, see what I need to put back in the bag so we don't run short if we go somewhere on a fishing trip. And uh, I'll share that with you guys tomorrow. Once again, thank y'all. 
want to take a moment at this time to remember everybody that's been affected by Hurricane Helene, Western North Carolina, Eastern Tennessee, all the way back down to the Gulf Coast of Florida. I know, I know I'm from Florida, know people in the Big Bend region. I got friends over in East Tennessee, Western North Carolina, around the Swannanoa area. You're on our minds. We're praying for you guys. You're not in this alone. Thousands of your neighbors have came over there to help bring donations, bring fuel, whatever they can do to be of assistance in any way they can, and we sure appreciate that. Thank God for all of them. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Alluvial Adventures. Thank you all for joining us. We will see you all on the next one.